Subscribe to Smartphone Tutorials by clicking on the subscribe button and do remember to click on the notification bell icon to get instant notifications. What's up guys, so in the last video you saw me unbox the beautiful and amazing OnePlus 5T. Now this phone is a powerhouse, it comes with Snapdragon 835, the one which I have comes with 6GB of RAM and 64GB of UFS 2.1 storage. So it is mighty fast, performs flawlessly and crunches the benchmark numbers as well. Not surprising that this phone kills all the other Android smartphones when it comes to N2 scores or Geekbench scores. It is only trailing behind by the iPhone and uh, the iPhone X because it has the amazing Apple A11 chip. So without further ado, let's go ahead and see the benchmarks for the OnePlus 5T. Alright guys, so we will begin with a fresh boot so that there are no apps running in the background. That is the reason I have rebooted the phone and let's go ahead and unlock this bad boy and let's see how much it can perform. Now to give you a heads up, uh, obviously it is running a Snapdragon 835, 6GB of RAM and 64GB of internal storage. So let's go to settings first and let's see what we are running. We are running Oxygen OS 4.7.2 along with Android 7.1.1 Nougat. So that's the Android N Easter egg just to confirm things. Uh, should get audio by December or January. Now let's go to CPU Z to have a look at the detailed specifications. So that's the configuration of the processor there. That's all the device information, the internal memory and stuff. Next up, uh, that's the Android version and next up we have the battery. So the important part here, the thermals, we're gonna look at the battery temperature and the MSM temperature, which is the processor temperature, the SOC temperature and one look at all the sensors we have. So good enough for gaming and other stuff, a heavily packed device pretty impressive for the price point now um, going forward uh, what we're going to do is we're going to test and to do then we're going to check CPU Z and again we're going to do that with other benchmarks so ignore that score it was an incomplete run we're going to test it again and you can enjoy the time lapse I'll see you in a while Okay, 1,78,580. So that's a pretty impressive score. As I said, it beats all the Android phones out there. Let's see what it shows in the rankings. Um, all right, so the OnePlus 5. So more or less, it scores around 1, 178 to 185. It's only behind the iPhone with the amazing Apple A11 chips. Now let's directly have a look at the temperatures. Okay, 41 and the battery seems to be stable at around 37, 38. So that's a good sign. And uh, in my ownership of one week, I've never seen this phone heat up even under heavy gaming. The gaming review is next on this channel. So stay tuned for that. Now the Geekbench score should be, okay, that's it. Single core 1946 and multi core 5818. Pretty, pretty decent and very powerful score. That's a multi core score. I skipped through the test uh, because it's a very long test and uh, let's have a look at the benchmark numbers again okay 42 degrees so very very well done there Qualcomm and OnePlus great job so a gaming test here a benchmark which tests the graphic performance 3d mark enjoy the music see you guys in a bit
all right 2567 now it says it's a new device so we don't have data to compare but that should be changed in a few days but it's a pretty pretty decent score and if you saw the visuals yeah, and you can see the frames per second here uh, it doesn't lag at all it is capable of running all the latest games as far as this particular benchmark is concerned it's a pretty healthy score so that was the benchmark for you guys now let's have a look at the temperature if it heated up um, stable at 42 amazing optimization by oneplus and a brilliant processor by qualcomm so that was the benchmark test for oneplus 5t guys if you like this video like share and subscribe and do participate in the giveaway if you want to have a look at the description box all the information is mentioned there the winner will be announced on 31st of december goodbye